because this this marathon is a celebration of women runners everywhere. Yeah, we've been talking about it all morning, how it's 50 years since women were official. That year, 1972, eight women finished, including, you know her right here, Val <laughs> Rogaszewski. Thank you so much for joining oh, us, Val. Thank you. It's so good to be here today in Hopkinson. I can't imagine it. It's wonderful. 50 years since yeah. you guys broke through that barrier and opened the door for the rest of us women oh. to get, and it's just, it's emotional thinking that in our lifetime that that was a thing that women were not official I keep thinking of that too especially with my two daughters and my cousin all women joining me today um, it, it does make me tear up sometimes yeah your daughter Abigail your daughter Allie and then mm -hmm. your cousin my cousin is Chris mm -hmm. four women gonna run there are only eight women in that first yeah. official 1972 marathon now we've got thousands yeah talk a little bit about just how far this sport has come for women <clears throat> in the past 50 years yeah it's just it is hard to imagine going from that not that small number to like you said I bet it's getting close to 12 to 14 thousand women here today mm -hmm. and so it, it just makes me feel so good to know how opportunity has expanded for women and how women are seizing the moment and taking advantage of it. What was it like that first year being in such the minority and know you were doing it for the first time? Do you remember how you felt when you were oh running? Oh boy, I yeah. remember. What yeah. was that like? <laughs> well, the fun thing was is that I hadn't met the other seven women until we gathered on the start line. And uh, so we were huddled on the start line off to the side so excited and and knowing that eyes were on us because many women many people didn't think that we should be running marathons so i think we knew that none of us were going to drop out it was going to be do or die and we all finished <laughs> you all finished yeah. now today you hit the course again mm -hmm. What's your approach? You, you're trying to beat your daughters, I assume, right? No, I've got a whole <laughs> different approach today. Of course, they could beat me, but they're insisting on staying with me, mm. which is very sweet. But I, I counseled them not to. But we're going to do the Jeff Galloway run-walk approach. So we're going to be running hard for 30 seconds, walking for 30 seconds, oh. and then doing the same thing for the whole course. That's my kind of running. I yes. like that. Yes, yeah? I like that. All my <laughs> joints love it. And you're also going to be a starter today, this yes, morning. Yes, I get, to, I get to start the elite women that's wow. wonderful yeah so that's that's a really special thing too and then not only that they're letting uh, me and my daughters and my cousins start right after the elite women wow. so we're gaining a couple hours on the on the course so I like do that. you have a message for women who uh, everything when you look back at what you guys were able to do and the door you were able to open any message for women of the next generation and beyond sort of what you've learned from all of this well I think in the in the area of running you know, even if you think running's not for you, give it a try. Do the walk-run approach. Do something just to try it. But you know what? Even beyond running, if there's something you want to do, just go for it. There's no reason you can't do it. Oh, man, what a message, especially on this day. Val Rogoszewski, go get it. Thank you. Go get him out there. Oh, good luck. Thank Thanks you so much, much for thank joining you. us. Thank you. Thank you so much for all you do. Wow. Thank just you.